this is a quick tutorial for Tammy who wants to know how to make a an outline of a shape. Uh, she wants to do the fabric applique where you make a letter or a number and then you put um, out of fabric and then you put a vinyl outline around it. And so um, you want your vinyl outline to overlap the fabric um, in both directions. Um, so first I'm just going to make a letter. I'm going to use the letter A and um, I'm going to change it to Palatino. It works whatever font you want is fine. I'm going to make it bigger like, like a monogram. And now we have to change this to a path. So I go to path, object to path. I want to ungroup and then union. Okay, so now our A is a path. It's not text anymore. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to make another copy by pressing control D. I'm going to change that duplicate to a different color. I'll just pick red. And then I'm going to send it to the bottom. I can go to object uh, lower to bottom. You can also press end on your keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to use dynamic offset to make that red copy of the A a little bit bigger. So I go to path, dynamic offset and it gives me this little node to pull here. Now you're going to want to turn your snap tools off if they're on because if they're on it'll um, it'll mess up you pulling this. It'll, it'll snap it to points that you don't want it to. Okay, so now I've made that A a little bit bigger and maybe it just depends on how big you want that overlap to be. Okay, so now we'll say object to path to set that. Now what we want to do is we want to slice this black A out of the red A to make a hollow outline. So first I'm going to duplicate the black A by saying control D. So now I have two copies. Control Z to put it back. So one of, one of my black A's is selected. I also want to select the red one and go to path difference. You can't see what it did, but if I click on the black A and move it, you can see it made an outline. Okay, so we're halfway there. If you were to cut this in design space, your, um, you would have your outline, but it wouldn't overlap the, um, the fabric A. The black represents our fabric A. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an offset on this again now. So we're going to go to path, dynamic offset, and we're just going to pull this a little bit bigger now. And what I'll do I'll say object to path again. Click on the selector tool. I'm going to select this black A and I'm in my fill panel here. You can get to that by doing control shift F. And with my black A selected, I'm going to make it a little bit transparent so you can see how much they overlap. Now, if I want that to overlap a little bit more, now I can make up my black A a little bit bigger just by doing the offset again. Dynamic offset and pull. Now I can make that outline just a little bit bigger and then again object to path to change it back to a, a path and then I can change using this A control here I can change that back to black if I want to it doesn't really matter so that would be ready to go you have your thicker outline that's going to overlap your fabric and then you have your A to cut out of fabric and uh, that should give you what you want hope that helped